Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial of Jav here, and today I'm playing Doom Eternal. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going over how to get through a Super Gore Nest. So we're going to jump way ahead to this point where you've got to find this red key. Well, you're probably going to be able to find it pretty easily, but getting to that key is actually a bit of an issue. So that's going to be the first part of our walkthrough. We're just going to go over all the main things you've got to do, but we're not going to give any spoilers or anything like that. This is going to be a very fast-paced guide that just gets you what you need to know. So first off, boost your th yourself up to here, hit that thing, and then just go through that hole, right, that you just made by hitting it. Once you're there, you're going to jump across to this sort of area right here. And then if you look across, you're going to see two walls that you can scale. So pick either one of those walls and just jump to them. Hit E, climb the wall, then jump over here. And now you've got your red key. It's pretty easy once you know what to look for. But for me, honestly, finding those walls was pretty hard. Now you're going to pull a series of levers. And once you've pulled enough of those levers, you're going to get to kill some bad guys. So let's just go through that montage real quick. You're going to hit some skulls, do some cool stuff, and eventually we're going to get to another part that got me stuck a little bit, so I'm just going to walk you guys through it. Here you've got a um, to totem, I think it is. But basically, if you destroy that thing, the demons are going to stop having super demon powers, which is always good. Now, this part here is a little bit tricky, sort of. Um, you're just going to have to make some jumps. You push that square back you're going to make that jump over to this platform that i'm on now you're going to jump across this gap you're going to be able to do that just with a double jump and then a sprint so again do that here you're going to notice i get hit by the fire that was my bad but it does happen and then you climb this wall you're on to the next section this is pretty straightforward but i thought i'd go over just in case here you've got to do a series of jump drop and sprints so basically jump over to one side sprint over then you're going to use this platform here and again, you're going to need to do another jump, drop, jump, and sprint. So that's sort of just a little tricky there, but once you get that down, no big deal. Um, coming up next, we actually have, well, this is actually the easy part. This is just getting the blue key. It's sort of pivotable. It's pivotal. You need to do that, and then you get a bunny as you're going. You're going to just get all this through your regular gameplay. It's not too tough to do. You're going to put some Eye of Mordor keys into some things, and then something is going to happen. So, you know, that works, right? Um, you're going to pull some more levers, some stuff's going to go boom, and then you're going to get to this section where you're trying to escape. Uh, so this is actually a hard part. I couldn't find that wall to jump onto, so I thought I'd just show that to you guys. So if you're stuck there, that tells you how to do it. Anyways, that's it. That's how to beat Super Gorenas. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace.